Hi guys, third session of the day number one in our Spanish 112 class summer three. Um, let me share with you what we have here for this session. Okay. On the class calendar, we have it there. We're gonna be using the studying the verb, the regular verbs in preterito. And we are going to, at the end of the period, we'll be able to talk about events that occurred in the past. See? Uh, let's go to our textbook to take a look on what we will be talking about. Preterito de verbos regulares. Huh? What happens in Spanish with preterito is that we, uh, in past tense, we have several tenses. We have preterito and imperfecto. We have more that I'm not going to mention that now. But uh, endings are different and we have two sets. We have preterito and imperfecto. Preterito uh, implies different ideas than the one that is, are expressed with imperfecto. Uh, for now, let's work on preterito of regular verbs, see? When you were in 111, you learned Spanish, you learned uh, present tense, and you learned the ending o as a, amos an, o es e, hemos en, o es, o es e, imos en, okay? But here, we have a new set of endings that you guys have to memorize, see? And many irregularities come with it, see? What happens with preterito is that it's a tense to report actions completed in, in a given point in the past and to narrate events, see? We in Spanish have some adverbs, some expressions that help us communicate and give context to that narration in the past, such as, um, and I need... Anoche, anteayer. Ayer, el año pasado, el mes pasado, la semana pasada. These are expressions that help us give context to the idea when you said, I ate. Well, you can complete the context by saying, I ate. Yesterday, I ate. So, yo comí ayer, anoche. You can use them. Uh, let's uh, work on endings and let's go with the wrap I have here for you. Dun, 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 dun. Take a lesson from the best. So just have a seat in Spanish class, and I guarantee that you'll be sure to pass. Credit is the lesson that you need to learn. If you want to see the great you plan to earn, one thing to keep in mind before we commence. Preterists of verbs means they're in past tense. With preterist, there's three endings that you should know. There's A R I R E R, and this is how they go. Part. The same as conjugating. Different endings on the side. So just keep in mind to drop the AR. Now let's keep it moving with the word comprar. Yo get the E, un accento, please. Pretty sure this test will be as easy as a breeze. The pronoun do gets the ending aste. Spend L A, I guess it O with an accent. Los otros. It never wants to change, like in stem changing verbs, almost always stays the same. So forget about ustedes, ellos y ellas, they all get out on Ellos cubrieron. Ella 
So let me go now with this PowerPoint that I have for you, okay? Uh, and this, let's just sort of rephrase to what the uh, song had. So we have uh, the ending for AR verbs are hablé. The endings we drop, you know, we drop the AR and replace it with the, these endings that are showing there in pink. So hablé, hablaste, habló, uh, hablamos, hablasteis, and hablaron, see? Then comer, the second group, ER verbs, we drop the ER and then it replace it with these endings. Comí, yo, tú comiste, él comió, ella comió, usted comió, nosotros comimos, vosotros comisteis, and ellos comieron, okay? So viví, yo viví, so we drop the IR and then replace it with this. Let's go with the second one. Tú viviste, él vivió, nosotros vivimos, uh, vosotros vivisteis, and ellos vivieron. ¿sí? Notice that nosotros, uh, uh, nosotros hablamos, en comimos, en uh, vivimos is the same one for present and past tense. You just have to, uh, context will tell you that what, what you guys are doing. ¿sí? So here let's conjugate this. Ellos, what, will be, what action did they do? Ellos hablaron, ¿sí? Ustedes hablaron, ellos bailaron, tú viajaste, yo canté, usted estudió, ella enseñó, él tocó la guitarra, nosotros escuchamos, yo tomé agua, tú buscaste trabajo, tú buscaste algo perdido. Ella trabajó. And these are chicos uh, um, conjugations of the verbs, and I hope you practice them on my Spanish lab more in depth and different different uh, type of exercises. Uh, the exercises on my Spanish lab are already posted, so I'll let you continue working. Let's finish the the explanation here and the session here, so we start accomplishing our goal of narrating or talk about uh, uh, events that happened in the past. Okay. 